Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me an email wanting if I could help them out with the extrude tool, and I use it very little, if ever, just because when laser engraving, I don't think it's going to be that. If this was a printed material, sublimation, t-shirt, it would look pretty cool, but it's really easy. Just click on your text and go to the extrude tool which is underneath the drop shadow and this is the part you kind of got to figure out um, you can put that X wherever you want and then uh, make your extrude as big or little as you want and it's kind of hard to figure that out until you go to rotate and it comes up with this and you can kind of rotate it to something like that and you can change a bunch of things, but then you can go to colors and go right here to use shading colors. And we're going to go from black to a gray, and then you can still play around with your your angle and everything. And let's see if we move the X. Well, I guess you can't move it. I guess you'd have to start over. And that's way out of deal. But anyway, to use this for a laser engraver, I really don't see how it's going to help you too much. I don't think that's going to show up. But, as what I do before, let's make that shading a little bit different color. Let's make it a, a lighter color. No, let's go back. That looks pretty good. So if I was going to engrave this on, and if it was a whole word, so I'm going to put P and put it in the key page so it goes to page. So I'm going to engrave it right here in this corner. The way I would engrave it, because these are, you can never uh, use color mapping on this, but with the object selected, you could go, well, let's select it all, go up to object and break extrude group apart. Now our letter is a little over six inches, so we're going to change our nudge factor to, let's make it eight. I'm going to click on our extrude part and I'm going to move it out of the way. Now if you engrave this at 100 power and 50 speed, and then you move it out of the way, and you bring this back in and engrave that at, you know, 100 power and 40 speed. Let's just see if there's anything in the background. Nope. See, it's, it's only these sh uh, shadowed area that are going to engrave. And you can engrave that. And I don't, I don't, I think it's just going to turn all gray. I don't think the laser is going to be detected between the two shades from the lighter to the darker. But it would look something like that after it's engraved. And I actually must have moved it just a hair. When I did something a while ago, I must have moved something. There we go. And we got it back. So, that would be, to me, you would run it twice. And if you run the black first, and then go back in and put your gray, and do it 100 speed at a, you know, or 100 power at, say, 90 speed or whatever, and then if it's not dark enough, just run it again a little bit, a little bit darker. But that's kind of all I know about the extrude tool, and I, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.